Good day guys, it's Lack here and in this video we'll be going over 7 different ways through which you can access airport lounges next time you travel. So now get ready to unlock a world of luxury and comfort before your travels and enjoy all the free food and drinks and make sure to watch this video till the end to discover some secret hacks on how you can access these airport lounges for discounted rates or even free. Now let's get straight into the value. So the easiest way for you to access airport lounges is actually using this thing called credit cards. So many credit cards across the globe give you free lounge access as one of their perks when you pay off their annual fee every single year. So popular credit cards that offer free lounge access includes American Express's Platinum or Chase Sapphire's Reserve. So what you need to do is actually to go check if your credit card is providing you with free lounge access or not. In my case here in Australia, I've got the American Express's Qantas Ultimate Credit Card, which gives me two Qantas lounge invitations every single year on top of two visits to American Express's Centurion Lounge in Sydney or Melbourne International Airport. And out here in Australia, in my opinion, the airline lounges, such as the one Qantas have in Sydney International, is a lot nicer than the American Express's Centurion Lounge in Sydney. So like I said, having a credit card which includes free lounge access can be quite beneficial if you travel regularly. Number two, third-party airport lounge memberships. So imagine this, over 13,000 airport lounges across the globe at your fingertips. That's a perk which you get when you have the access to Priority Passes, which is the world's largest independent lounge access program. With the membership options ranging from $99 all the way up to $600. So depending on your lounge hopping ambitions, this is a great way for you to access airport lounges. So to see which airport lounges are available in your city or in your desired traveling location, you can download the Priority Passes application, which gives you a list of all the available lounges they have in their network. Number three, traveling with someone who has lounge access memberships. So let's just say if you're flying with one of your friends or family member which already has access to a lounge membership, you can actually tag along with them to the specific lounge which they have access to as a guest. So in my case, I've got complimentary Qantas Club membership which allows me to bring in one guest which is either a friend or a family to join me in the airport lounge whenever we are traveling together. So using this exact method, I was able to get into a first class lounge for the first time as I was traveling with my family member who has access to all of the Qantas's first class lounges and they were able to bring me in as one of their guests. And oh my God, what a surreal experience it was. The only terms and condition with this offer is that you have to be traveling on the same flight as the person who has access to these lounges. It's a great option for you to look into if you personally don't have a credit card which gives you lounge access or you don't have any of these memberships. If you have found this video useful this entire time, make sure to go down and hit the like button. So now looking at the fourth way to get access into airport lounges is by usually flying business or first class. So what this basically means is that qualifying international or domestic flights actually come with complimentary guest lounge access. Now here's a little secret for you. Let's just say if you have booked an economy class fare, you can often negotiate a free upgrade to business class in certain situations. This includes things such as flight delays, schedule changes, or getting bumped from your original flight can actually work in your favor. Trust me, I've successfully negotiated this free perk multiple times throughout flying. So now the fifth way for you to get into airport lounges is by gaining status with airlines and their alliances. So gaining elite status with a single airline can unlock the gateway to exclusive lounge access but this perk is reserved for seasoned travelers or people who are loyal to that particular airline. Elite status is quite realistic for frequent business travelers or those who extensively travel with one particular airline. So if you find yourself amongst these elite ranks, make sure to explore these privileges bestowed upon you. The largest airlines alliance right now is Star Alliance, which have airport lounges across the globe. You can gain status and work towards free Star Alliance lounge access by flying with any of the 20 plus airlines that belong to this particular airlines. These includes United Air Canada, Singapore. So in my case, Qantas is my preferred airline and I'm part of the Qantas's frequent flyer program, meaning I'm an automatic member of One World's membership, which is the world's second largest airline alliance after Star Airlines. So just last month when I was traveling domestically in the US, I took advantage of my One World Emerald status, which basically gives me access to free business classes lounges whenever I travel on all of these One World Airlines. So in this case, I chose to travel with American Airlines and my Qantas status got reflected into my One World membership, which meant I could access American Airlines Airport Lounge. So now looking at the sixth way for you to access airport lounges is by actually purchasing airline lounge memberships. You can actually consider purchasing lounge memberships directly from a particular airline. So popular North American Airlines with lounge programs include Delta, American Airlines Admiral Club and United Airlines. So out here in Australia, you can purchase Qantas's club membership, which usually costs you $99 for one single year. Or you can use 16,000 Qantas frequent flyer points 
And when you buy this airline memberships, you might also get access to different perks. So in the case of Qantas Club membership, you also get extra check-in baggage allowance, priority waitlist, and even airport standby. So when you look at the prices for these airline memberships, they are quite comparable to something like priority pass. But in my opinion, you're better off having these airline memberships as you get access to these extra perks as well. So go ahead and check out if your preferred airline has some sort of membership like this. So now looking into the seventh and the final way for you to access airport lounges is by purchasing day passes. So paying for a day pass is an option for travelers who are not traveling that frequently and also for people who don't want to commit to one particular airline or alliance for a long term. So marketplace platforms such as Facebook Marketplace, eBay, Gumtree here in Australia or Craigslist have lounge passes available. This is usually at discounted rates. As you can see on this case, on Facebook Marketplace, people actually go ahead and sell their Qantas lounge invitations from anywhere from $50 to $70 per visit. You can also look into discount websites such as Groupon. Last bonus tip for you guys, there are specific Facebook pages or groups where people actually go ahead and gift their lounge invitations which are expiring very soon. You can go ahead and become a member of these groups and try getting a lounge pass from one of these kind people. So back in the days when I was not a frequent flyer or did not have any of these club memberships, I would purchase these one-time lounge passes for as low as $10. And honestly speaking, looking at the airport prices these days, you're better off paying for these day passes instead of purchasing food at the airport. So now there we go. So these were my seven ways on how you can access airport lounges across the world for free. If you found this particular video useful, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more such content and make sure to check out this video on top five best credit cards you can currently get and the best way for you guys to earn frequent flyer points. Until then, take care and I'll see you in the next one.